top five important inventions of the 21st century. In this era, technology is a part that promises to revolutionize the world. Followings are some of the highlights of the ever-improving technologies. 1. AR and VR. Have you ever heard about augmented or virtual reality? Though this sounds like a science fiction movie, the two technologies have been getting a lot of hype. But how do these two technologies differ? Let's break it down. Augmented reality, or AR, allows people to add digital elements to their actual environment. Pokemon Go, social apps, and even the NFL all use AR. The filters we use on Instagram or Snapchat are also examples of VR. Virtual reality, or VR, is a wholly immersive experience allowing users to interact with new virtual worlds. So, AR adds things to your existing world, and VR changes your world. Retailers like Wayfair are already taking advantage of the technology by letting shoppers see how their home would look with a piece of furniture before buying it. Businesses could leverage AR and video calling technology to efficiently walk consumers through repairs. On the flip side, VR requires specific hardware, like an Oculus Rift headset, which only a small percentage of the population owns. It makes the widespread adoption of VR comparatively slow. 2. E-readers, we're moving into the 21st century and have the e-readers, popularly Nook Glowlight series, and Kindle. It can be one of the life-changing pieces of tech. Because once you have an e-reader, it does cost a bit of money to buy, like £69 to £99 on Amazon, but once you have an e-reader, and you would not have to wait for physical books to arrive. Anytime someone recommends a book, you can hop onto Amazon and buy it immediately on the Kindle store and start reading it there and then. The real benefit of getting an e-reader is in terms of convenience. You can carry it everywhere, and you can always take this with you and enjoy it if you travel. The ease of note-taking on an e-reader is great, and you can also highlight anything and then export your highlights to wherever you want. 3. Smartphone. A smartphone combines a computer and a cell phone. It consists of cameras, satellite navigation, media players, and many features. We can connect it to the internet and can perform many things. It has advanced computing features such as a smart fridge that can communicate with other devices via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Smart cars, smart locks, smart watches, and smart speakers are examples of some smart devices which can interact through smartphones. It has become an inevitable part of our life and has a footprint in almost every sector of our daily life. 4. Blockchain. Blockchain is distributed ledger technology that stores information or data in a decentralized manner, so there will be no central authority to control the entire data and information. Instead of one central authority, blockchain is managed and run by a network of computers collectively. Whenever new data is added to the blockchain, it's the work of the miners to verify and record it. Blockchain is the same technology on which Bitcoin is based, and there are no central agencies or authorities controlling Bitcoin. Blockchain is super secure because of its decentralization. It is not stored in only one computer, instead, they are stored in a network of computers. In Africa's Sierra Leone, blockchains were used during the elections for voting. According to some, it is a topic for debate whether its disadvantages are more than the advantages. 5. Capsule Endoscopy Capsule endoscopy is a new method of seeing the small intestine. It is like a capsule with two front and back cameras. Just take a glass of water, put that capsule in the mouth, and then swallow. That capsule goes into the food pipe, stomach, and intestine. It will start taking pictures throughout its course and carry images for up to 17 to 18 hours. So what are the indications for capsule endoscopy? Indications are when there are small intestine problems, endoscopy, colonoscopy, and CT scan, and when the doctor finds some problems in the small intestine, then capsule endoscopy is done. It is done basically for the detection of anemia. There may be bleeding in the small intestine, we use capsule endoscopy. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to get great content regularly.